Welcome to the Small Business Big Mindset Podcast, where we dive into tactical strategies to grow your business and make an impact on this world. A huge part of success is keeping your mindset and vision on track. So this is a major part of our process and this podcast. Let's do this. Hey, Aaron here. Welcome to the Small Business Big Mindset Podcast. This is the first one that we were doing on camera. So we shall see how this goes. We figured maybe it'd be cool to give you guys a version where you uh, see me actually recording it. Some people are more visual and they like the video. So uh, we will uh, load this up onto the YouTube um, so you guys have both versions. So uh, pardon me if I do look at my notes. This is how I operate. I do have um, notes. Usually I just have a quick outline when I do a podcast. So just FYI. So on this episode, I'm going over the five qualities of I can't open this fast enough email subject lines. Okay. So I'll just jump right into it. So the first one um, is the element of surprise. And actually, before I jump into it, I usually like to get right to the content. I want to give you some background. So I am all about growing your email list and not just growing your email list full of whatever emails you can get on it, but growing your email list full of um, targeted actual people that you think will benefit from the information that you're giving them that might be interested in your products or or services down the line once you uh, develop a relationship. So I always, always, always say grow an email list because growing an audience on just on Facebook or Instagram or any of the other platforms, you don't own those platforms, right? So if the, if the algorithm changes again, which it will, uh, if Zuckerberg or whoever decides to shut it down, um, you're screwed, right? Because you don't own those followers. Like they're on that platform, but your email list, that is your crew. Those are your people. Um, and so I always teach people to how to start an email list. And then some people are like, that's awesome, but nobody's, nobody is, uh, opening my emails. (laughs) So what the heck? And so obviously your subject line is kind of like, it's like your first line of defense, right? Um, as far as getting people to open your email and see all the amazing content that you have written, right? So why write such amazing content that's really going to help people if it's just going to kind of languish in there and collect dust in their inbox? So that's why I figured I will do a podcast episode all about the email subject line. And these are the five qualities um, that email subject lines um, typically will have, the ones that are like clickable, the ones that you click on uh, when you see them in your inbox. So I actually also created a download that gives you all this information as well and a little like a, um, an activity to do to kind of get uh, email subject lines kind of more in your routine and to help you actually create an email subject line bank, right? So that you can kind of pull from that when you need it. Okay, so now we can jump in. Okay, so the first one is the element of surprise. So an unexpected subject line can catch your reader off guard in a good way, right? Um, The critical component to remember here is that it should come off as organic, not just for shock and awe. Don't just like put a subject line to get someone's attention and then you're not following up with it, right? Um, You want it to uh, have substance. So this could be something from a personal experience, a professional situation, a dream, a distant memory. Each can stop your reader in their tracks and elevate your email above the others um, in their inbox. So uh, an example could be, I woke up with rainbow hair and a small unicorn horn. I don't know about you, but I'd be like, what in the world? I need to know what's happening there. Um, or that time I, I realized I hated X. You know, maybe you hate something that's popular. and People will be like, what is wrong with this person? I need to open this email and find out. Um, and so that's kind of the element of surprise. Like, what? That doesn't matter. I don't understand, you know? Um, Okay, the second one is uh, intrigue. So it's different. It's like a, it's like a surprises cousin, right? Intrigue. So it's kind of like, have you ever been to a party and you're circling the room and then you hear something so fascinating that it stops you? You're like, what did that person just say? I'm not in that conversation, but I heard it walking by. Um, maybe you almost bumped into the server with that. It has the tray full of Prosecco, right? Um, it's so interesting. You wonder, like, how can I like get myself on into this conversation? Um, you want to hear more. So that, my friend, is what I call unique. It's, 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 it's unique. It's intrigue. You want to hear what's going on. Um, so the same is true in subject lines. 
It's so mesmerizing that you have to know what happens next. You have zero choice. You must open that email. So some examples are, it was all fun and games until it ate my entire camera. Wait, what? I'm intrigued. What ate your camera? Or he dropped this bombshell after 56 years of marriage. You're like, first of all, 56 years of marriage, that's a long time. And what the heck did he say, right? Um, or maybe like after spending $36,000, I realized this was a complete mistake. And you're like, what was a mistake, right? So it's kind of like gives you some intrigue. It's sort of like a, like a cliffhanger. Okay. And then the next one, the third one is drop some knowledge. So it's not just 90s slang. You can actually leverage the subject line to raise awareness, to make an impact, to educate, to drop some knowledge, right? So you could include a statistic, a lesser known facts, or mention an action or a situation going on in the world. So this could take on a more serious tone too, if you wanted. So it could be um, nearly 13% of all adult cancers have this in common, or these are the 10 countries with the worst water access, or maybe here's my biggest lesson growing up in poverty, you know? So it could be something that's like interesting, but also you're learning something to it. And so you're like, okay, I want to learn more. So that's more of that kind of a, of a subject line there. Okay. Moving right along. Um, the fourth one is you're in their head. So not in a, not in a creepy way, um, but you want your reader to feel like you are speaking directly to them. Okay. So, and only to them as if there's no one else on your email list. Okay. It's like, wow, they're speaking directly to me. Um, there's a sense of intimacy in email. So I compare it like this, uh, being at a party is kind of like what the social media vibe is like, right? Grabbing a cup of coffee with a friend that's email. Okay. So to take this further, you can personalize the subject line uh, with their first name. So some examples might be, are you coming, Erin? We're about to start. I've gotten some of those and I'm like, maybe what's going on? You know, click on it. Or I saw these and immediately thought of you. Or this happened and I knew only you would understand, right? So they're speaking directly to you and you're kind of like, huh, okay, well, I want to know more. Like, what did you see that reminded you of me? Like, even though you know realistically, it's a group of people, but still you're on an email list for a reason. And so that target audience, whoever they're writing to, you're like, okay, well, I'm part of that audience. They're talking to me. Um, and so they know what I like because I'm on this email list for a reason. So what did they find that they think I should know about? I'm interested in that. And then the fifth and final one, I'm going to go over that on this training, um, is that it gives you all the feels, right? So this can be a variety of things. It can be tugging at the heartstrings. Um, it can be a sense of empowerment. It can also inspire, it can shock, or can outrage you into action. So most of the time, this type of subject line appeals to your heart more than your head. So it could be something that motivates you to reach your goal or propel you into action to right a wrong. It plays on human emotion to make the connection. So some examples could be the words hospice care rang in my ears, or why haven't you been to a protest? Or she was out of jail again and he was terrified. Okay. Right. So all of those can kind of, they pull at something at you. You're like, okay, I want to know more, you know, um, hospice care. Oh, it's awful. What happened? Or like, you know, kind of calling you out. Why haven't you been to a protest? Why haven't you participated in that? And it's like, well, Hey, wait a minute. Maybe you get a little defensive and you want to click on that, um, and see what's going on. So I like to say that a subject line is akin to an eavesdropping that intrigues, right? So just kind of like when you're thinking of your subject lines, kind of think of that. It's like if someone heard this in passing, they would want to know more, right? So they want to click on it and, and find out more of, what, of what's going on. And so um, in the download that I'll put the link on this page, but there's kind of subject line buckets that can um, help you. Uh, do a brain dump and come up with your your own subject lines and it'll help you create a bank of it. And I have an activity on the download as well to kind of like a 30-day subject line challenge um, to help kind of get this into your um, routine. Um, so I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I will also mention, um, go to 
musclecreative.com slash subject lines to get the download. I'll put the link on this page as well. Um, and also check out, we have, um, I have a membership coming out called Email Ally. If you go to musclecreative.com slash email ally, I'll put the link on the, this page as well. You can find out all about it. It's launching really, really soon. It's a one of a kind monthly membership that helps you with your emails. I know so many, um, business owners who are like, I would love to email my list consistently, but I don't know what the heck to tell these people. I don't know how frequently to write to them. I don't know what subject lines to do. I do not have time. You know, some people are like, yeah, I can write, but I have zero time to do this. So it's kind of like, your own email assistant, but at a fraction of the price. So you can communicate and nurture your email list consistently in a fraction of the time. You can engage a thriving email audience um, and convert them to happily paying what I like to call heart-eyed customers. And you can create an email list that is so sought after that new subscribers actually come looking for you. Um, and you can finally cut the overwhelm and have the extra time to focus on your core business that takes your own expertise. So go to um, musclecreative.com slash email ally to get all the information and get on the interest list, okay? Because it's launching very soon. I'm only going to have an enrollment open for a very short period of time um, before we start getting this party started. So um, hopefully this was helpful uh, to you guys. Message me or email me at hello at musclecreative.com with any um, questions or comments that you might have. All right. Until then I will see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in to the small business, big mindset podcast to keep the fun going. Check out our Facebook group, start and scale an online business for even more free trainings and resources from fellow entrepreneurs. If you haven't already head on over to musclecreative.com and click subscribe to join our email list for our weekly updates. And if you've enjoyed this podcast episode, check us out on your favorite podcast platform to follow us and give us a review. As always, be authentic, bring an insane amount of value and keep crushing it.